Hello everyone, this is Dave Partner. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to use a very interesting and powerful API tool called Postman. I think Postman is owned by Google and um, whether or not it's owned by Google, it's available on your store. So you go to your Chrome browser, start your uh, Chrome browser and then take a look at this guy here, the apps icon there so you click hit on it and there you have it the list of apps i have on my chrome and um, i already have it installed that's why it's here so when next you want to start postman you you click on there and have it here i already have it installed so but if you've not installed it you will not see it i'm using chrome browser which means to set it up you have to get to your web store so um look at this icon down here this link i'll click on it and then it opens my store my web store on chrome and then you can search for postman here postman it's a very powerful tool the the, the thing is if um you ever see anybody that is building a microservice and they're not using postman uh, i just believe they're not serious okay um look at postman here i'll install it and you also want to install a uh, postman interceptor so that uh, you can, uh, if you need it later, you don't need to. Have, you don't have to install it again. As you can see, there are other similar apps for API testing, but Postman is the best. It just does everything you need. All right. So once you have clicked on it and installed it, the icon will change to rate it, and uh, that's it. So to start it, as usual, just uh, after the installation to start it, you just hit on Apps. This icon here. Click on it and uh, it brings the list of your applications you look for where postman is this is where mine is hit on postman and then there you are postman opens up so this is postman opening up and um, you basically uh, what it does it's you can use it to test your apis and see uh, if they're working well and if they're not working well you can use it to find out what is really wrong right here on this address bar of postman i have um i've pasted the swap.co api that we had before remember when we have swappy we visited a website that gave us the api of star wars all the star wars um players so we call the the, the website is swappy.co and then they had several different apis in which we just copied one of them and uh, tested this is the website they have apis for all these different stuff and then uh, this is one for for finding users so user with the id of number one is um, luke skywalker and if you change it it will give you the user with the id of number two all right instead of just doing it here we can just go straight to our postman uh, look at how i want to open my postman here's my postman I just go straight to my postman and paste the URL swappy.co.api.people.3 that's usually with the ID of 3 if I change it to 4 and uh, the, the type is get you understand so because in your code in the services people services they have determined that they can you can only retrieve the details of uh, somebody with the uh, HTTP type of get there is post there is put patch delete copy and the whole lot right so if you make a request with the wrong type uh, http verb uh, you will not get the proper request all right so let's say this one is get and i hit send get means that if you copy this directly and paste it in your url you will get the same thing you're getting here that 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 is get but post you can just copy it directly so when i paste it here i am going to uh, click on send and uh, it does loading then it produces the result so here is the same result we're seeing that Veda Veda is the user with um, ID number three so let's say ID number two and I click send it gives me C3PO the details of this guy and then there is raw if you want it this way and there's preview if you want it that way this is what you will see when you visit preview is what you see when you visit the url which means if we got back to chrome and um, 
up here if we decide to paste paste and go we should get the details we are looking for so that's it exactly and uh, here are the few full contents so um postman is very interesting to use and of course you can save apis let's say you're building different apis like we saw in the other video we had apis for restaurant apis for payment and api for different things so for each of the endpoints you create in the api you can save it look at look at this you can save it you can save it as you can save it so that it appears uh, by the left here so you can group apis and, and save them it's just an amazing stuff all right so i'm going to minimize postman now and we get back to our application so um we are back to lumen i opened my lumen app uh, where i installed it remember in the first video we installed lumen and um, I'm, we're going to do some settings remember that lumen is a stripped down version of laravel and that means that some things were, were disabled by default or not even existent at all so we'll go to bootstrap and then we'll open app.php we are going to enable two things um i'm going to enable the first uh, and um, so we will uh, uncomment this guy and um, uncomment this guy so we will let her get to a point where we will yeah we'll get to a point where we'll return to this file and uncomment this guy this is the old middleware that we will use to authenticate our users before um, granting them access to our api remember when we did this we didn't have to um, when we access this yp.co api we did not have to um, authentic get authenticated we didn't sign up on the website normally for authentication your users will have a token where they will have like um, alt token they have to send the token with every single api so when your users are signing up you create a unique token for them and then for every api call they have to attach it this way as a get or they have to attach it in the headers so not on the url but in the headers where they will it will be like alt uh, token and then the value will be this guy here so we'll get to that point where i will explain it very well so only on that note can they send this and it will work so if if it, it all depends on the guy that's building the microservices if the platform demands that every person making a call to that api will be authenticated then they will implement an auth uh, token there are many ways to um, authenticate people but this is one default way that uh, Laravel does it all right so with this auth token if this is unique to every user which means um, any new user that signs up gets a unique token once you get this token you can use it to um, find out which user is making this call and then log their call all right so i uh, will get to the point where we will enable it but for now i wouldn't enable it as you can see there are so many other um, things you can do here but that's it for this particular um, um, file for now i'll save it and um,